in this video i am going to recap the research designs qualitative research designs so uh, first of all i would like to define the research design in the most elementary sense the design is the logical sequence that connects the empirical data to a study's initial research questions and ultimately to its conclusions it is important that research design is uh, driven by the initial research questions uh, you when you do set, uh, any research you intend to uh, reach to some conclusions to reach to some inferences how can you reach to those inferences the, uh, you uh, follow certain steps including selection of the research design and then uh, choosing appropriate tools and collecting data and interpreting the data to reach to certain conclusions so research design is the uh, is um, the logical sequence step by step sequence that connects the empirical data uh, to a study's initial research questions and ultimately to its conclusions or in other words it may be defined as the a research design is a logical plan for getting from here to there where here may be defined as the initial set of questions so you know you see that research questions are extremely important research questions direct the choice of the research design so you identify the research questions and um, that is the here position and um, the research design helps you to go to there uh, there means conclusions about the, these questions so do remember that every type of empirical research study has a distinct research design so it is not possible to conduct any kind of study, whether qualitative or quantitative, without identifying the research design. So um, the key words which help you to identify the research design are these. Um, uh, they are not rule of thumb, actually. I have identified these keywords to help you uh, to understand what kind of research design is appropriate for certain kind of research questions. They may vary, but um, I have developed this table in the light of my own experience. Over the years of experience, I have learned that these keywords help the beginning researchers, the beginners to identify appropriate research design. I hope that these keywords will help you to identify research design. So if you see the word experience in your research question, then the most appropriate research design would be phenomenological research design. If there is a word culture, then ethnography will be appropriate. If you find a word becoming, become or something, some, uh, uh, some words which give a sense of becoming or become, you will be applying grounded theory research design. The word perceptions or beliefs, these two words are commonly used in educational research and uh, perceptions and beliefs both can be investigated through descriptive research. When we say descriptive research, there are two kinds of descriptive researches, quantitative as well as qualitative. So a researcher may opt to study perceptions and beliefs through descriptive design, through quantitative description or qualitative description. It depends on the researcher's uh, worldviews or research paradigms. If you see, if you find a word impact or effect in, in a question, so ideally, ideally that needs to be investigated through experimental or quasi-experimental means. Yes, there is an exception of explanatory case study. You can do explanatory case study to study the impact or effect, but um, scholars have objections. Uh, they, there are certain criticisms reg criticism regarding um, the use of case study in investigating the impact or effect because uh, the people who belong to post-positivist tradition, they believe that impact or effect can only be uh, studied through experimental or quasi-experimental designs because in experimental conditions, you 
control variables you have uh, you have an opportunity to control variables and study only certain aspects certain variables so the uh, last keywords which i have mentioned they are relationship and correlation if the a question contains word relationship or correlation the most appropriate research design would be correlational study so the last two experimental and correlational they are pure quantitative research designs whereas descriptive research it can be done qualitatively or quantitatively and phenomenological ethnography and grounded theory they are pure qualitative research design there is an other important aspect which uh, need uh, to be uh, which needs to be understood by all the researchers is that many times researchers do not use only one pure research design rather they can combine different research designs because i have seen many researches which are phenomenal phenomenological researches but they combine qualitative description with phenomenological research I have read many researches which are primarily case studies, but they have a flavor of phenomenological research as well. So there are pure design researches and there are blended or mixed design researches as well. So uh, I have included some research question and then uh, in the light of uh, these um, keywords, I have written some research questions and then uh, identified uh, uh, relevant uh, research design for them. So how do college students in Pakistan perceive the impact of YouTube on their conceptual understanding? So it is, it seems descriptive research. Um, how do means it, it is about finding students perceptions perceived word is there so it is about perceptions so we know that perceptions is uh, perceptions can be studied through qualitative uh, descriptive studies the next one how do average performing 10 to 12 year old pakistani children of low income families learn mathematics so it is about how so case study is the appropriate uh, research design to investigate this research question because it is about it it seems it looks like an in-depth study of 10 to 12 year old pakistani children of low income who uh, learns mathematics so how questions uh, indicate that uh, the research study is something in depth the next question what are the pakistani university students learning experiences during the pandemic of COVID-19. So it is clearly a uh, phenomenological research study because the word experience is uh, used there. The next one is what is the culture of liberal arts or general or engineering universities of Pakistan. So the word culture is there. So it means um, it will be an ethnographic study. The next question, in what ways university students interactions with peers play a role in developing their sense of self? So developing their sense of sense uh, and interactions with peers it will be studied by grounded theory it is about developing something or develop becoming it is related to becoming thing so it will be grounded theory what are the educational experiences of war affected children in syria uh, it is um, the word experience is used so it will be a phenomenological study design the last one what are the perceptions of school leaders about e-learning in pakistan it is descriptive study so these uh, seven uh, study designs they are qualitative research design so i have included some quantitative um, uh, questions as well so let's see them the uh, what is the impact of video lectures on undergraduate students achievement in theory based courses so it will be cosi experimental or experimental research design it it can be investigated through cosi experimental or experimental research design because um, video lectures you you want to study the impact so video lectures are independent variable while students undergraduate students achievement in theory based courses achievement that is dependent variable so you are going to establish some cause and effect relationship so it will be done through uh, experimental mode 
So the uh, next one, what is the correlation between postgraduate students' GAT scores and their scores in the course of research methods? So maybe a researcher is interested in identifying the relationship between uh, GAT scores and um, uh, student scores in the course of research methods. This will be a correlational study. In correlational study, uh, you, you get, you usually establish relationship between two variables which are ident which 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 are ratio variable or continuous variables means which are numerical uh, which can be converted into numerical for example GAT scores they are again in, in numbers and students uh, scores in research method scores they would all again be numbers so correlational studies usually include relationship between two sets of numbers so uh, these examples show that the research question indicates what kind of research design has to be uh, used. It is not researchers' in, uh, intentions or researchers' um, paradigm, uh, worldview that directs a choice of the research design. It is the research question as well. If you, your worldview is interpretivist view or constructionist view so you will actually not identify the uh, uh, any question which is about impact and effect or correlation you will be interested in investigating people's experiences you will be investigating in, in the culture of uh, the you know, culture of some place so worldviews actually direct your of questions your study questions these are the questions which lead to a certain research design so research design it largely depends on your research question so um, I again summarize that uh, uh, we um, uh, saw the definition of a research design I'm going to revisit that that in the most elementary sense the design is a logical sequence that connects the empirical data to studies initial research question and ultimately to its conclusion